I'm sorry, I'm laughing at what you just said. Oh, we were just starting this, and Andrew was like, "Get this intro." I didn't do the intro. Go on. We were like, "Let's go, let's go," and he's like, "Let's go, B." <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, this is day two of Chetland Festival preview, and we're going. I'm gone now already. That's a great way to start. Isn't it? Straight cut across the house. Oh, I'm sure, I heard something weird there. It's really, it's me like a. A meerkat off looking at stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my head though. I, I wish Kev was here. Like, there's so much easier where Kev is here. Like, it's I don't I know. Oh, look. We're not techie people. We've lost our no. producers. Andrew's better than us, but he's not and he's no yeah. Kev. No. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we're struggling. You're not like. <laughs> <sighs> memory card was saying it was full and was not on it, but then I deleted it off the computer. Then it wasn't on the memory card. Then it suddenly was full. I don't yeah. know. Anyway, M. Foy Allen heads the mark for the Ballymore Novice Hurdle um, at 6 to 4. You won job today. Sorry, I am. You won job today. Sporting now, John. 11 to 8 with Labrooks. And then we have Sporting John at 4 as we big the big getaway at 9 to 2, the big breakaway at 13 to 2. A steer for Lange at 11. That annoys me that they're not in the right order. 11 to 2. And Shitskin at 12. <laughs> <laughs> Shishkin. Shitskin. 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 Oh, fire today. <laughs> yeah, that was good now. This isn't going too well, is it? Oh, the hell. Uh, Let's go with it. Lads, Enver Allen is not going to be beat. Can we move on? Uh, the top four in the betting are going to go all going. This. I'd say a lot of the other ones are not. Um, so we're going to have a few rags after that. Um, I'm going to take... I have Enver Allen in multiples and he's the most likely winner. But this race is notorious for favourites getting beaten. I don't think it's as simple as him just turning up and winning. There's some really good horses in it. Sporting John um, looked really good the last day at Ascot. Mm-hmm. Um, he destroyed uh, Colin Tizard horse. How was it? No. Uh, Master Devon, yeah. Master Devon, I would imagine... He's in the nail more than a washing of that horse in his form. I would imagine Colin Tizard's horse, the big breakaway, is miles, miles better than Master Devon, yeah. Yes, I'd agree. Um, so... Big breakaways in here. I, I respect the big getaway as well. Willie Mullins' horse. Um, Joe Donnelly owns that as well. He owns the two and the Supreme. But the big breakaway is the one for me. It's the way he's won his two races. I would have liked to see him again and not have that little that little um, injury or whatever he picked up because he was going to race again before Cheltenham. He's just travelled so well and he's won both races like on the snap. He's a good horse. Um, Very good. I really like the way he won two races. So I'd be happy for like... 11 to 8 against uh, what is he with Labrooks 13 to 2 I'll happily go with 13 to 2 William Miller shit in the bag 10 to 11 on <laughs> I think that Envoy Allen as Dave says the most likely winner of this race um, he's very hard to knock he just seems to do you can put him anywhere in a race he relaxes he jumps pretty well he's got Trenton Festival form um, I think he is definitely the most likely winner however as we said on Friday, like, you know, Den, I think Denman got beat in this race. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you like, said that in the preview. Like, and like to be fair, Jane, Jane said, oh, it's not Denman, blah, blah, blah. But like, I texted you even today about some of the horses that have been beaten in this over the last few years that were like heavy favourites. Neon Wolf was all but unbeaten, but he yeah. was beaten by Willoughby Court. Uh, Champ was supposed to be yeah, but champ is champ. We know what champ is. Champ. Uh, we we get to champ in a few still minutes. Still got bet last bad, year. Lads. Still got bet last year. Yeah. But, but they're not in Viando. You can't compare one horse to another. I don't know. And look, that's Sam, like in fairness now, Sam Crow, he went and got the business done in this. Did, yeah. did, yeah. Um at a very short price. I just think if you if you take Envoy Allen is seven to four on Betfair, um, which is high enough. If he can't I'd want him to come into about six to four. But I would actually lay him. I'd take him on. I just think you've got three horses running for you here. You've got Sport and John, the big getaway and the big breakaway. And they're, the three of them are very, very good horses. They are good horses. Yeah. I think All you've three. got three running against one. And that's before you even look at the outsiders who could spring a surprise. So I, I'd just be keen, I'd be keen to take him on if he was six to four on Betfa. I wouldn't take him on any day of the week. I think whatever he runs and he wins. I'd be honest, I think he's if, that, that if good. he wins this and he beats the tree in the betting behind him, that the big uh, getaway seems to be putting it together now. I think he'll progress. He'll keep progressing. Sporting John looks like a really, really good horse. And then the way the breakaway is after winning his couple of races and the money he costs. Mm-hmm. If he beats the three of these and he wins, he'll win the champion hurdle next year. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'd say I'd say well, I'd say he's the real Liam. Um, if he, if I remember he when he won his point to point, and I was I was training a horse at the time, and a lad who was riding him out for me worked in bows, and he you know, the day after he won his point to point, he was like, "Did you see that?" Like, so he was always special from day mm. one. So look, he's the most likely winner. I just if you're a bookmaker, you got to take him up. True. If you're a punter, latch on to him, lads. Fair what, okay, wait, how much are you laying him for? Uh, not much. No, just a, just a interest. I'd probably lay him for 20 quid or something. Yeah. Just, yeah, fair enough. Just to say I took him on. And lost. <laughs> <laughs> right, on to the RSA. So we have Champ at 5-2, to two, or as Sean would like to call him. Sean, give Sean a shout out. Chump. Chump. Um, Manena Indo at 10-3. to three. Alaho uh, nine to two, Copperhead at sixes, and Battle Over Slow On at tens. Interesting. There's a bit of blue on odds checker here for Copperhead though. Shortening. Probably look, going for this. Look, we get to the favor. Oh, yeah. He's the biggest lay of the meeting. I wouldn't go that far. Ah, oh, he is such a lay. If you want to lay a horse, lay him. He's You'll lots, make a fortune. I wouldn't say he's the biggest lay of the meeting, but he he's, is. Lots, he's lots of question marks. Um, he's got ability though that's unquestionable he's, he's very, oh he's got ability but he's very very good I think he's going to be found out with stamina his, his jumping would uh, mm. his jumping might not be the the best it's he kind of he kind of hurdles his fences which is not and ideal. he decides to land on top of half but he is very good he's after doing things wrong this year and still got getting yeah, out of jail totally agree but if he does things wrong here I can't see him getting out of jail there's too many to me he's too much of a flashy horse for an RSA yeah He's going to have his That's, heart broken by either Manila Indo or Copperhead. I could see him not winning this and maybe ending up being the best horse out of the race. But yeah, generally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, like it doesn't always take the best horse but, to win the RSA. Ju- it's just whatever one is the toughest. Do you know what I think the whole thing with Champ is? I think he has a reputation just because of what he's called. Because he's named after McCoy. Yeah. Oh, he's and he's good, like. in the same colours. I tell you now for a fact, if he wasn't named after McCoy and owned by JP, he wouldn't be favour. Uh, I don't know. I don't he know. wouldn't he's be. Good now. He's, he's, he's Coming off, Manella Indo, who's, who won the Albert Bart last year and they went on to win the Cheltenham at uh, Punchestown again. He won the okay, I don't, Around you, Navin you, and, you, you, and Captain CJ. Copperhead. Have, to me, Copperhead should be shorter than the champ. You have a hard on for Manel Indo. I wouldn't be as hard up now on Manel Indo as you, but he is tough. And that is something that make that you need in this race. Hmm. Like he's not, he has you need to be a tough. hardy bastard to, to win an Albert Party yeah. last year. Only after running two times over hurdles is insane. So he's clearly tough. Like and not many back it up with going to punch town and win this. Yeah, st- their equivalent of it, beating but the same horses. You said it already to me. Like, I hope Copperhead goes for this because I think he he fits the profile perfectly. Um, and I crack and I didn't take the six to one on Friday for him. One handicaps and. Won the grade two around Ascot then last time. He he I think he won that race fair and square as well. He he put some decent mm. horses under serious pressure. They couldn't keep up the the way the race was run as well. That Pim is an alright horse and Sam Brown was there as well. You would have thought the race to him with the heavy ground and he was just beaten I th- yeah, I, beating out the gate like I think the distance he won was kinda of exaggerated by the ground, but he still won yeah. really well. I'd like to see him can he do it on quicker ground because it's what's that on the Wednesday? Mm-hmm. The ground might be dried out a lot by then. It's Copperhead for me. I hope he goes for his race. I'm Manella Rindo for me. I just think I can't have him. I actually, I got abused again on Friday. Put him up each way. <laughs> like, I cannot see. He's the one horse there. Champ could dive at a fence. Alaho could be very, very, very keen. Copperhead, I won't knock him too much. Um, Battle over Diane and Fahin, I doubt they'll run here. Um, well, yeah, Fahin, if he runs, he'll surely go for the marsh. Uh, Slate House is one to be maybe interested in it all went apart from last time he found he's in the wrong race he just mm-hmm. jumps he'd it, have a better chance in the marsh do you think yeah mm, I, think it, I think he'd have a better chance staying in the stable I wouldn't I, I wouldn't uh, I like I'm out with him now if you look uh, at that though, if you go down through them and like, I just who's can't catch him or who's got a chance every time you're back me you can't this. catch him <laughs> Manella Indo though you surely got to say Manella Indo is going to be in one of the places Manella Indo is my idea the winner yeah four to one I'll tell you that back him each way you're going to be banged there he's the right he's the right profile he's the right build of it. he looks like a proper they are stay or chaser if the bet if, if it's next Wednesday and all those horses are like that 
Og jeg lever forecast, men jeg lender og kapperhed. Og bare kapperhed to en, og jeg lever for reverse forecast. Like even if you go back to the five years coming from Henry's, the whole plan was to do more or less the same thing on last year. Bring along nice and quietly. They he fit, hit Chetlam and he absolutely came they alive. They fit the profile. Mm. They fit the profile. It's just door stairs, both up. I prefer Copperhead, but like Manel Endo fits the profile as well. You look at that kind of horse that won a bloody Boston's Angel. Absolute dire stare. Yeah. Who Hard is? race to win. And, and to be fair, there was an okay horses in that race. He turned out to be useless, but he just won. Yeah. He was just, as a novice, he was he the was toughest best, novice. Best stare. Um, so we're going Manel Endo. Manel Endo, yes. A Copperhead. And if he runs in the other race, Manel Endo. Okay. Um, I'll be on. On to the champion chase. Champion chase. Now, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> What's Andrew on for this? Is he changed his mind again? That's right. I'm going to be honest about this. I, I, he's gonna I, tip before up, I get this in, no, I'm he's, saying it. He's going to tip up dynamite dollars. I'm now saying it, right? I'm saying it. <laughs> I, kept, I kept this away from for a whole week I, just to get the reaction out of him. I backed Altior. Uh, uh, we, I won money or something, but it was in Andrew's account. And I said to Andrew, yes, I gave, my account. gave him a few <laughs> bets to do, and one of them was on Altior at 9 to 4. Before he ran at Newbury. I was like, right, surely he's going for a champion chase now. And Andrew was, for 10 days, even after he ran at Newbury, Shaq and Porcois is going to win. Blah, 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 blah. Listen and listen, listen. He comes out with, I'm back in Altior at the preview night the other day. <laughs> I nearly fell off the chair. <laughs> well, I tell you my exact words. This exact Jane, words. Jane was beside me and I was listening to Jane and I was like, and next minute I hear yeah, he was like I'm oh. back in Altior as well and I was like <laughs> no that's what I was saying just registered then I was like what it wasn't I picked up the bike funny so, went, and I went lads Altior wins this every day of the week I put it down I'd say and I, I looked back and I was waiting for him to say I'd so I'd say if it had been had it been live my face would just been like what? I can't. I do for a whole week leading up I was going saying this literally because we took a we took a break then after that and I was up in the toilet, and it was literally only races with her name, and he was beside me. Is that fucker? Is that <laughs> 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 yes. And it, well, I said, Al Joe wins this every day of the week. And, sh- and Jane said, Shackon's only looking for the line. And I just picked up, he's going to be looking for the last fence before he looks for the line. Look, I, I'm not going to. That's Al Joe wins this every day of the week. I'm, I'm, not, I, I, I'm all for Al Joe. Um, the laziness and stuff wouldn't worry me. It's just a way to take on horses. Every year that Big Bucks came into the world hurdle, he was lazy and there was a horse that was going to beat him and their form and blah, blah, blah. And he took them all on and he bet them all. Altior is lazy now. The horses he beats in England aren't fast enough. So he just travels behind the bridle and just does what he needs to do to win. Deffy's very good. Shakran's very good. But Altior on ratings is miles clear. If he runs to the rating, if Nicky Henderson can get back to the rating that he has run to, the other two have no hope. It was, I think we all discussed it, it was a shocking decision when, I mean, I know it's easy to look back, but like, the first time out for the season to run him against surname over, over the furthest trip he's nearly run in his life. I don't know how Nicky got dragged into doing that, but he did anyway. But thankfully, Altior's come back. Surname, I think that ruined him for the rest of the season then. Mm. Um, it's Altior for me. I I respect the other two. Uh, Deffy... Like, Won't be placed. I look, I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if either one of the three of these won. Um, we were talking, we were asking Dylan. Dylan rode on newer in the race um, against Shaq and Pessoa. And he said he just came past him doing, doing handstands. Like he just mm. came past him and jumped past him. Or no. No offense to Dylan. Like, I like Dylan. He's a nice fellow the other day. <laughs> Stop beside me. We had a little chat, but it's Or no. I know. I'd say, yeah. I'd say yeah, a, lot of, a lot of horses went past Or Nua doing handstands. Or is still a great one winning an average chaser. He's not the worst horse in the world. He's not a handicapper, but that way, he's a great horse. Yes, but Shaq hadn't done that to a lot of horses. And he also did a deaf to side punch down. He went past him like he was standing still. Mm. Right, to be fair, I watched the preview and Richard Johnson said in two out of Pungestown, I, I was winning. And then he kicked four lengths ahead of me and I was like, where did that come from? Mm. Yeah, Richard Johnson actually did say that. Like, mm. He's saying Deffy is better again this year, but like he said Shaq on shocked him, shocked him last year. Yeah. But I go back to, okay, yeah, I, I can't take the Deffy, as everyone knows. I I take, but like, he's beaten a pensioner twice this season. And he's had to be retired. I you hate that people. He is good. Like you can throw all his chatting and form into and all this. But he can't lace Altior's hoofs or boots or whatever way you want to put it. Look, yeah, you know me, the, like the way I bet. I like to get a better price, and and I wouldn't be the biggest. Um, 
Or like monetary wise, it wouldn't be the biggest gambler. It's an awful nice word for him, isn't it? Yeah. It's a good big, word, big word for him. Big, oh, the word of the day is. <laughs> <laughs> we backed out to our last year. And I think I had 30 or 40 quid on. And that's a big bet for me, like just on a single bet. I'd usually like to split it up and get a better price on something. And the reason I did was because he was even money. I think he got 11 to 10, maybe. 11 to 8. And I was just can't, couldn't believe it. He's 9 to 4 in some places. It's bad, Mr. You're never going to see it again. No. And if he wins, and I think he will win, he's going to be back to like 1 to 10 on and 1 to 7 hey, on. In my eyes, they're going to latch onto him. They see him in the prayer ring, big black airplane. He's going to be bucking and kicking, mad to go. And I do think he's... He's <laughs> you, don't say you thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? <laughs> South Africa. Keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> so, Altior. Oh, go on. I'd go with Altior, but I wouldn't be surprised if he were one of the three wins. And I kind of want Shackham to win. I kind of want him to win, but I, I, I think... Just sit in the fence and back him each way. Head says... Head, <laughs> uh, four. Yeah, it's kind of price. 11 to 4. When did you hear what I said in the next race? Oh. Um, but yeah, Altior for me. Black airplane. All day long. <laughs> right. Cross country chase. Chase. Yeah, I Cross can't believe what happened at the previous night with this. I can't believe we couldn't get Why is the only person that put up Tiger Road? No uh, one else. put up Tiger Road. Go we were going on about the 10 to 1 on Easy's Land as well. Oh, of course you, you take got, 10 to 1 Easy's Land each way. Yeah, like, how Poor James. <laughs> did, James gave, said 10 to 1 Easy Land. He gave Jane. But no one else. Right. James was writing some of it down and James said, what will you give me on him? 10 to 1. And he went, yeah. 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 And we were like, hey. And he was like, whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> Only for Jane. Only for Jane. The reason behind this is, oh, J.P. McManus has bought Easy Land. Oh, he's definitely going to win. Oh, great, great. Like, J.P. McManus is a lot of money and has bought a lot of horses that are not a lot of... Not good. Very good. Nope. Right? Juvenile hurdlers. How for anybody an example. can take on Tiger Road after how we won this race last year? Right? Fair enough. Enough. Fair enough. The way, um, like Kevin Sexton said, Easy Land went such a pace uh, in yeah, November. Yeah. He he rode in the race and he couldn't believe the pace he went and he kept going. Right, uh, the t- same jockey's keeping the right. I'd rather have Whee! rather have Andrew on the horse and back him again than have <laughs> him on. It, right, that's why. The, the likelihood I think I'm available, JP. By the way, he, is he he <laughs> The one I think, not even one put up to Tiger Roll, but will come second Tiger Roll is the other French horse, Origin to Gurgani. Right, Easy Land is all right, but how? Like all the panel were like, all over this Easy Land as well. Tiger Rolls gonna win. I'm I'm on Easy Land, right? Oh, but okay. only a betting angle. He's three to one there, lads. Like back him each way. It might not be your game. It might not be your game to do that. Whose game is it? But it is. That, that, if you keep backing horses like that in races like this, you're getting your no, count. Th- like, this is what I'm saying, right? We talked about Envy Allen, right? Envy Allen has three horses against it that could possibly improve past them. Tiger Rolls miles, miles better than these. There's only one horse against them, easy in, in in Might bite is the around, third favourite. In around the, the same, same price, right? 11th A, Tiger Rolls, even money and all that. Yeah. Tiger Rolls, 100 times a better bet than Inva Adams. There's like, nothing's going to beat him. Like. Oh. If he jumps around, he'll win. Like, he won by 22 lengths on the bridle last year. He's going to win by 22 lengths again. Look, Betting wise for me, easy land each way. I'll t- I, I hope Tiger Rolls wins easy land each way. He's going to be second or third. But as, as I said, on the preview night. Am I the only one looking to see what Mike Bite does in this? I can't wait. And that's it's gonna be He's going to Just, Do you know what the cheese wedges where the people are standing there? Yeah. Oh, they'd want to have life insurance Jesus out. Christ. I would not go anywhere near the track with that. You, I think it was you said it. Imagine. You could well, be sitting down yeah. having a champagne and my bite will end up on the table. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know who it is? I think it was Emma said that, was it? Do you know but, who is a good each way shouting this? Never Oshakan. Yeah. He's yeah, enjoying his life around God, here. I thought you were going to say Yanworth. How he is a bigger price than Yanworth. Oh, he whooped Yanworth, Yanworth the other day. He hates life. Yeah. He just hates <laughs> life. He does. Ah, he does. He's, 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 him, between him and Mike biting this, it's a second. Excuse me, French, no, he's a prick. <laughs> 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 you used to like love oh him. Oh, my God. Uh, the first <laughs> Chandler preview ever at Auburn was in my seat room fucking years isn't ago. That the maddest, isn't that the maddest thing that him and... York Hill were in the Neptune together. Yeah. Two absolute spoofers. Must be something in the feed that <laughs> day. So, they, both of them were so, so talented. Like, like yeah. Amart was talented back in his novice days. Like. And York Hill's Two gone now, Willie's now. Like, I'm sure, what are you going to do with him? Like? Cross country. But, <laughs> and, you, and you know what? You put up uh, York Hill as an each way for the Hennessy this year. He actually looked like he was going to win. What yeah. to do? Eat a fence. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. 
Oh, there's Paul gone. I'll tell, tell you, 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 I'll tell you what, though, lads. If you want to, if you if you've ever wanted to go out onto the course to watch the cross country, don't do it this you're year. You're going to Cheltenham. I would do it this year because I think it's going to be That's the last right. year you're ever going to be able to do it. Because my bite could well <laughs> run for a wing. He could run anywhere. He could take ten oh, people out, so and that'll be the end of it. They'll never have people on the course again. So, um, what's going on there? Boys are trying to get out of work. They're jumping out the window. One of the lads is opening the window here. Jacob is enough, he's gone. <laughs> I think he's had enough. <laughs> so, oh, right, what we, right. Yeah, What's next? Tiger O wins this, lads. Tiger O, easy land each way. Tiger O is the most likely winner. It's a, it's a lot like... Um, I just had to check some. It's a lot like... <laughs> it's a lot like the uh, the Ballymore for me. Sorry, Anderson back. is the most likely winner, but back. price wise Are, are we doing one. handicaps on today? Uh, we've got... We've got a champion bumper. Which, uh, oh yeah, yeah. oh, this, this was very split, wasn't it? Queensbrook for me. Queensbrook because yeah, Jane said. Jane Mangan Andrew. put up Queen. She uh, Andrew, can... Andrew put it up, and then Jane Mangan yeah. said, "Yeah, um, the general consensus from myself, Jane, and Emma Kendi was Israel Champ." Yeah, I wouldn't knock Israel, Israel Champ. Each no. way, I think he's got a very good chance. I, um, we, I, I think appreciate is way few, too short. A few of them disregarded the panic attack, and I disregarded it as well. I don't. I, I, she there was a stables and all that it was a strange one um, to me uh, I think Pipe has a really good chance with Israel Champ I won't but there was a big debate here wasn't there over who's going to ride Panic Attack and Israel Champ one of the lads had an inside that Jamie Carter's been booked for Israel Champ mm -hmm. and everyone was like why wouldn't Tom Skew ride it but then the only, the only obvious answer to that is that Tom Skew's going to ride Panic Attack which boggles me I'd ride Israel Champ a yeah. million times over panic attack. Uh, you look, it's you probably look, the money that he's at the pain for he has to go. I don't think I've ever seen a, a horse travel like appreciate it in the last day and he's the most likely winner again but then you're getting Israel Champ at 10 or 12 to 1 probably on the day. The race he won at Ascot He's rock solid a, winning a bumper under a penalty like a graded bumper under mm. a penalty is really hard mm. to do for your horses. Mm. So his form is rock solid. I know I know we appreciate it sure but he's my selection in this. I just, I was up there today, he won at Leopardstown, and that was a really good field of bumper horses. Yeah. The best bumper horses in Ireland from all the races this year. And he absolutely hammered them. Mm. He just traveled so well and then quick and then quickened up to follow it. And he was so impressive. Um, Who are you? Appreciate it? Yeah. Well, for the, uh, Queensbrook each way. Oh yeah, sorry. Queens. Queensbrook each way. Champion bumper. Right, anything for these handicaps? The boot has got no. This my one. Oh, lads. Oh, the car cup. I've won for the car. Oh, lads, I've got one for this. Go on. Front Go view. Joe yeah. Sorblines, front view. Yeah, it's you can, a good you can, you can have him. Lads, this is turning out. Is this the one you got all giddy about walking this in the door? I, I saw this this, this this afternoon and. Oh, don't tell me it's Birchdale. This could be. No, Jane put up Birchdale just to give that a good shout and respect that. I can't this, is, this could be my bet of the week. I'm going off now. I'm going off after we finish this to get stuck into this horse. Simple. No. Um, I can't horse turn the end. Canadia. Um, a horse school Canadia. Um, used to be trained by Dermot McLaughlin, who's a very, very, very good trainer. Um, but the owners have moved him now. Um, he was fifth, beaten two and a quarter lengths in this race last year off 141. He's up to 143. He's only had two runs at Cheltenham in his life. He won a novice handicap hurdle there very well. With Barry Gerrish on him. Mm -hmm. oh, I remember this. And then he was fifth of 25 in the Coral Cup and only beaten two and a quarter lamps, as I said, right? He's gone very well when fresh before, so don't be worried that you haven't seen him since December. He nearly goes better fresh than he does anything else. Um, he's also in the Martin Pipe off the top weight, but you'd have to imagine they'll come here Where is he? as he was second. And he's up to top. Uh, oh, he's is he? Top. He's, to one or he's 14th. Um, you'd have to imagine they'll come here as he was uh, yes, so yes, close yes, in yes, it yes. last year. Lads, he's gone. Now, Durant McLaughlin is a very good trainer. Who's he gone to? He's gone to Willie Williams. No. Oh, wow. Wow. That's what I thought when I saw it. Now, Durant McLaughlin is a very good trainer. He's trained multiple, multiple winners. Gary O'Brien, the guy in that race, has horses with him. It's not going to be as much... Like, people won't have heard of Dermot McLaughlin. So don't be fooled that he's a terrible trainer. He's, he's very a good trainer. Good. It's to go to such a big yard as Willie Mullins. Though. Where was this? Gara Cup? This is the Gara Cup. Um, 14 to 1. Lads, if this, this horse only has to improve two lengths plus a couple of pounds, so say three or four ah, lengths. Ah, look at this. He only has to improve three or four lengths to go and win. Oh. Yeah. And That's I just, a good joke, huh? I just backed I him. I am all over. He's turning out. He could be my bet of the week, lads. I just backed him. 
Um, I'm telling you, Cheltenham Festival form, moves to Willie Mullins, goes really well fresh. Oh, it's chucked in. Get in. Bye bye, Tom. Yeah, I like I, that one. I like uh, A Wave of the Sea in the Fred Winter or the Boodles or whatever it's called. Joseph of Ryan's yeah. horse. Um, good form. Grade one form, he's run well all year. It's hard to know what JP will run it. He has the favourite, but well, I'd rather back a wave of the seed than back the favourite. Yeah. No, I'm not. I have no opinion on that. No, I've no, no, the haters. Yeah, okay, nice. Joseph, Joseph won it last year as well with um ba- uh, Band Outlaws. Band Outlaws, yeah. so he's good with the, he's good with the juvenile hurdlers as well. Yak race. Shout out to Cerberus, owned by um owned, JP. owned by JP but it was previously owned by syndicate of people who've got a connection to a school in near Asta, one of my the, my stepkid goes to so they sold that to JP I'd say they made a tidy profit after winning so. a grade 3 I think so they had a good day out and then got, got them sold what's, what's your uh, best bet uh, Wednesday Canadian uh, uh, come back to me Altior you're Al- not going to have long are you there's only three of us Altior Altior, my Altior Tiger Roll double. Altior. Fair enough. Good yeah. idea, lads. Might buy to end up in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to apologise if, if this horse is like 10 to 1 by the time this gets out. I'm sorry, but I just back him ah, just in case. It's still a good bet. It's still a good bet. I think he's a. He Any double figure bet is a good match up there, lads. Yeah. Right. So that's day two. Now we're going to go on to day three.